Did you see the first Ouija film back in 2014? Yeah? Did you enjoy it? No? Of course you didn't. It was a load of old shit. It was so terrible that even this Rotten Tomatoes percentage seems generous. But it made a lot of money, so of course Hollywood bigwigs took notice. Two years later and this prequel was thrown in our faces. Is it deserving of this high praise? Or is it just more of the same? Set in 1967 and opening with this gorgeous vintage Universal logo, the film certainly feels closer to old school horror than most modern gore fests. Narratively, it's old hat, single mother and her two daughters start messing with Ouija boards and little Doris becomes possessed, which of course paves the way for plentiful jump scares and paranormal shenanigans. But despite the shortcomings of this unoriginal plot, Origin of Evil packs some pretty effective punches. Cash-in horror prequels have been around forever and have something of a reputation for being, well, shite. Primarily due to being unfocused and forced, pumped out of some studio with little care purely to cash some checks. But Origin of Evil seems to have some effort behind it. A large focus on character in the narrative and some solid acting means we almost care for our heroes, a rare feat for any modern horror film, while strong direction and sound design creates a stunning sense of atmosphere with most of the scares being well built and hitting fairly hard. Origin of Evil is hardly going to be remembered as one of the greats, and it is flawed, but taken for what it is, a bit of old-fashioned horror entertainment, you could do a lot worse. Like, the first film, for example. So